growth loops in, in growth? Like what's the difference between growth and marketing? And look, they're sort of just semantics, but I think one thing that, that the growth movement in, in tech does really well is this sort of iterative circular process that feedbacks in itself, which is inherently thinking about growth as a system of moving parts and how to optimize and get everything working and flowing together. And I think a lot of marketing positions are, are not like that. They outsource a lot of the execution to an agency. Agency does a campaign, it's a project, it stops, they review it, they do it again. It's this very sort of static linear process. One thing that sort of solidified my thinking around this is, and, and something that I noticed is that very small details can have a massive impact on the effectiveness of, of the function. Example, there's one checkbox in TikTok if you want to do TikTok advertising. If you select it, <laughs> the amount of junk inventory or ads get shown to bots or non-humans goes to 99%. You have basically 1% yield with one click of one little setting that I can assure you no person would know that exists unless they've executed a campaign and shipped it before. And there's lots of examples like this, especially with digital media, I find. One thing that I really liked was this chaos theory, you know, the butterfly beats its wings and that effect on complex systems. I was trying to think about what is marketing? Like, is it just this one area? But for me, it's this complex interplay between all these different variables that ultimately sort of like help push the company forward or not, or give it the best chance of getting the best performance within the confines of its macro environment. So what's your sort of ethos from this complex systems concept that, that, I, I, that I found very interesting? There's two types of system, right? There's a complicated system, which is very intricate, but its behavior is knowable. And then there's a complex system where the behavior is kind of emergent and the whole doesn't behave as the sum of the parts, right? Which is pretty much most of the systems that dominate our lives, social systems, economies, environments, organizations, economies, all of that, they're complex adaptive systems. And outcomes can be very non-linear, uh, as you're saying, like trivial changes can have massive effects, massive changes can have trivial trivial effects and you get a lot of like power law behaviors where you know some things just are in the right place at the right time and they become huge and there's no real reason why it's happened there's nothing special about it it's just happened as in Taleb wrote a lot of the most lauded books on that kind of stuff like Fooled by Randomness and Black Swan yeah Black Swan they kind of really brought that to mainstream Consciousness. There's another one called Ubiquity by a guy called Mark Buchanan, I think, which goes into power laws in really great detail and makes the point that like an earthquake doesn't know how big it's going to be until it happens. Like, and yeah. the same is true with many, many other things. You see the same distribution with like movie ticket sales. You see all of these crazy non-linear behaviors going on.